We begin with the latest developments now in a major shuffling of personnel at the Catholic Benedictine Portsmouth Abbey School. The school's abbot resigning, leaving campus under a cloud of mystery. Now we are hearing from school officials what they are and are not saying about all of this. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us live in studio with the very latest. Kim. Jared Kedman Holmes had been the chancellor at the prestigious Portsmouth Abbey Catholic boarding school since 2007. But tonight, the specifics behind what is prompting his departure are still unclear. The resignation of Abbot Kedman Holmes announced in this letter to the school community, saying Holmes left following his acknowledgement of personal struggles involving conduct inconsistent with the school's expectations and with Benedictine ideals. The letter from the headmaster and chair of the school's Board of Regents says they have no knowledge that Holmes's conduct affected any students. We reached out to the school to ask about the nature of that conduct. Assistant Headmaster John Pereira tells us we have received no allegation of sexual abuse or have any knowledge that this involves any students or other persons. The well-being of our students is always our greatest concern. To review the situation, the school is hiring New York-based attorneys Mary Beth Hogan and Helen Cantwell. The firm's website says Hogan has represented several prominent educational institutions in sensitive sexual abuse investigations. The same website says Cantwell focuses on white-collar criminal defense, regulatory enforcement actions, and and internal investigations. We asked Pereira why they thought it necessary to hire lawyers. We strive to be transparent with our community so they can communicate to us any issues or concerns that they have. Consistent with that goal and current best practices, we have provided an independent law firm contact should anyone have information we need to hear. We do not want to interfere with that process, which is ongoing, so we will not comment further at this time. And we also checked in with state and Portsmouth police. Both of them tell us tonight neither of their organizations are investigating anything at the school. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.